All right, I'm going to show you really quickly how to put new thermal paste on your current car, your new car, so they'll cool better for your Bitcoin mining operation. This is uh, pretty necessary, um, especially if you want to have good solid temperatures that'll increase the longevity of your car. Um, what I have here is an HIS 5770. Uh, which is pretty nice. It's got actually a pretty good stock cooler with pretty good heat pipes, copper heat pipes on it. I'm actually pretty impressed since it's sort of a value brand from what I understand. Um, but anyway, let's get right to it. So the first thing you want to do is turn the card upside down. And you have four screws. And you're going to want to take each of those out gently. Using a screwdriver, make sure that uh, you don't, you know, this is a winter and you don't have tons of static and uh, don't nick anything on the board with your screwdriver because that would be very bad. <clears throat> now this one, these carts have some pretty nice thermal paste on them to begin with so they just separate. Um, sometimes you will get a card that you have to actually um, you get a card that has hard thermal paste on it and that's a bit more difficult to get loose uh, what I usually have done is taken my um, rubbing alcohol, you will need rubbing alcohol for this take the cap and use the hard edge to just scrape off the thermal tape that some of the places put on but in this case uh, I can just take a cloth wet it with some rubbing alcohol and uh, this stuff comes right off. Make sure you get it really nicely because you don't want any leftover um, thermal material. You want just the new stuff. Get that side really clean, set it aside. Take the main board and gently, very gently, clean off the core surface you want full contact with the new material because the new material is the better stuff and then it's real simple I use MX4 uh, it's the best bang for your buck on the market right now and um, what I do is I let the I just put a big blob in the center. I don't manually spread it out, and I just put the heat sink back on and uh, let it do the spreading work. Make sure you have all the fuzz and everything off of there. A nice big chunk of thermal material here. Try to get that off real quick. <clears throat> This so one's kind of good to have a uh, Q-tip. So you might want to have those handy. I don't have any down here with me. Eh, close enough. Okay. What I like to do is just take and put a... The great thing about the MX-4 is you don't have to worry about over-applying it. It's non-conductive, so you're not going to short anything out. And um, they say MX-4 likes to be applied thick. So I just put a nice bead right down the middle. Close it up. You want to take and set your card aside. Put your heat sink back here upside down. And set your card on top of it. Make sure you line up the screw holes perfectly. You don't want to bang anything on the card. A lot of surface mount resistors there. And then take your screwdriver and place one of the spring loaded screws in. And go crossways. I don't know that you have to do this, but I like to do it. Makes me feel better since this is not exactly cheap.
once that's done, make sure your fan is plugged in. You wouldn't want to find out the hard way that it wasn't working. Just plug that in right there. And if you have the uh, fancy covering like I do in my case, just peel that off and you are good to go. That's all there is to it.